What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 17 in the math three questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us a function and asks us to find the distance to the nearest hundredth of a unit between the two zeros that are closest to each other. The big skill that I don't know if this is uh, the most mathematical way to do this, but we're just going to go ahead and try to find these zeros in the calculator because it's a really good skill to know how to do for a test like this. So I've gone ahead and uh, typed my function into y equals already 4x cubed minus 5x squared minus 23x plus 6. And when I graph it, it looks like this. All right, now I can see that I have 1, 2, 3 zeros, and it looks like my function is kind of doing this. So I'm going to use that information. I'm going to press second trace. Calc is written above it in yellow letters, so this takes me to the calculate menu. I click 0. And now... When I'm trying to find one of my zeros, I need to look at which direction my graph is going up across the x-axis here, because since it's kind of doing this, my left bound needs to be below the x-axis, and my right bound needs to be above it. Once I found my bounds, I guess, and it gives me an x of negative 2, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down. We have an x at negative 2. So now I find my next zero. Same button combination, second trace, I get to zero. Now in the middle here, it's kind of doing this, so my left bound actually needs to be just above the x-axis. My right bound needs to be just below, I guess, and it gives me 0.25, or 25 hundredths. Now I find my last zero, second trace, find zero in the calculate menu. And once again, for this last zero, my function's kind of doing this, so my left bound has to be just below. All right, that's as close as I'm going to get. My right bound is just above, I guess, and it gives me three. Now, this thing here, the calculator does this sometimes. This just means the calculator got such a tiny number for it that we can assume it's just zero. So our x is 3, and now I have to find the distance between this pair of zeros and this pair of zeros. 25 hundredths minus negative 2 is 2 and 25 hundredths. 3 minus 25 hundredths is 2 and 75 hundredths. If I'm looking for my closest zeros, that's going to be these two. Their distance is 2 and 25 hundredths units. And now... I have my answer and I need to actually write it into my gridded response. So I'm going to need to give my two decimal place and each, or decimal point on each of my decimal places their own box. I find my two bubble under my two and bubble that in. I find my decimal point bubble under my decimal point and bubble that in. Two bubble under the two, five bubble under the five. And that's how I write my answer to this question.